It was only a matter of time before the found footage genre brought us a family film. I've been waiting for this one, guys. All those horror movies? I've been wanting a PG-rated one. Earth to Echo is a found footage tale about three young boys who are faced with their entire neighborhood being demolished. On the night before they have to move, they decide to go out on this adventure on their bicycles. They bring their cameras. One of them is trying to make a short film about all of this stuff. Their phones are acting strange. It seems to create like some kind of mapping system that leads them somewhere where they find this little thing that begins leading them all over the place all night on their bicycles that starts an adventure that they'll never forget. Sometimes found footage can be used Interestingly, it can be used in a way that actually boosts the material and makes you feel like there is more realism. Then there are times where it just feels like it's a gimmick, where it's used to mask poor storytelling, where they don't really have the budget they want to make the story they want to make, so they go the found footage route because that's so much more cheaper. And Earth to Echo started out pretty good. I was very surprised the way the film began because I was actually invested in these three kids. That was one of the best parts of this movie and the best strength of this movie was the relationship between these three kids felt very real. They really did feel like friends. And it kind of reminded me of my childhood a little bit, minus the sci-fi stuff. They're just out at night with a video camera trying to make movies. And I found that very, very appealing because my friends and I did that all the time when I was a kid. So I actually really got into the first act of this movie. Then they meet this little guy, this guy they call Echo, and the movie turns into a gigantic copy off of E.T. and Super 8. But the film started out in a way that was not like E.T. And I was like, okay, this is is cool, but then it literally turns into a scene-for-scene -scene rip off of the exact plot points of E.T. Literally everything from meeting a girl, a chase in a van, bicycle chases, government people who are after them, everything was just, it was exactly like E.T. And when you eventually realize what this thing is doing, I was like, that's Super 8. What started as a different and appealing look at friendship turned into a rip off of some other movies that were good. One of the biggest problems I did have with this movie is that the success of this film hinges on the emotional bond that is made between these three boys and this little thing. You're supposed to really feel that, and in this movie you don't. In fact, you don't really even see the little guy that much, and so you didn't really feel much of a connection there. And so when certain decisions are made towards the end of the movie from the main young boy of the film, the main character really of the film, decides he's going to do something, that sort of puts a lot of lives in jeopardy in that moment, and I didn't actually understand where that came from. Your more discerning audience member may pay attention to the fact that this kid took hundreds of lives into his hand in one moment without any real thought, and it was sort of just glossed over. That being said though, the kids in this movie are great. Especially this kid who portrays the character named Munch. He was fantastic in this movie. The friendship felt very real. Their performances were very entertaining. These kids did a great job, and I'm very interested in seeing what else they do because they have a future. The story of this film just feels like a ripoff of E.T., and certain things that happen in the end really questioned the morality of the movie because you didn't really feel the emotional bond between this thing and the kid that was needed to make this decision the kid makes work. I'm gonna give Earth to Echo a C. It started out strong, it looked interesting, Thing. It looked a little bit different, but then it just became a giant copy and the emotional bond just wasn't there. Now guys, a lot of you have been asking where I get my t-shirts because I, I, like, I mean a lot. Like I get comments, I get emails, I get tweets all the time. Like where do you get your awesome t-shirts? First off, thanks for thinking they're awesome. Second, jackofalltradesclothing.com. That's where I got this shirt that I'm wearing. Quite a bit of the superhero shirts that I wear, the Captain America one, the Batman one. A lot of you guys asked me and that's why I'm addressing this. jackofalltradesclothing.com. Check them out. They got a lot of great comic book stuff. They're a really cool website. So if you guys see Earth to Echo, let me know what you thought of it below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuck manized.